While we're down here at the IRT, we provide communication services to the medical folks that are here. We also provide some limited uh, help desk functions while we're here. Our main goal is to train our folks while we're here. It gives us an opportunity to train in a low threat environment while still providing services to the IRT. While we're here providing uh, voice and data internet services, we're actually able to get out and set up our radio systems, train all the various systems that are part of our, our disk package. This right here is actually HF radio setup right here. We had our guys coming out doing generator training, the radio setup, and antenna setup. This is one of the HF antennas that we use while we're out in the field. The IRT mission overall brings a lot of very much needed medical services and uh, veterinary services to the community that is underserved, that needs it. While we don't have hands-on contact with the, the customers, patients that come through for the IRT, we are able to provide uh, services to C2 folks that enable that mission to go along. And we, just by seeing the, the people that come through here and requesting services, you know, we, we can see the value and just talking to community members, see how grateful they are that these are available to them. I find uh, coming and supporting these IRT missions, this is our second one, uh, it's very rewarding for us. Like I said, it provides us a training opportunity for our team members. Support uh, a much needed humanitarian mission to uh, surrounding communities that need the, you know, need the uh, medical services. We, we appreciate the opportunity to be able to come down and support these missions.